Let's get it started. Yay! First thing you see is this door, which opens up to the bathroom. The bathroom. We have a nice sink. Oh. Uh -huh. They will provide you with stuff like this massage bar. We have conditioner. Towel right here. here. A towel to wipe your hand. And some tissues. And some a soap bar. A picture right here. And a shower. With the, which also has another towel. Then you get two uh, toilet paper rolls, hair dryer, and more towels. <laughs> Lots of towels. From here, this door, I'm not sure this door. Hmm? This door is not here. Mm. Uh, we have, um, we have a living room. Now, uh, it's a couch bed. And we have some many. coffee, like, coffee, machine, coffee machine, coffee items, a cup and more cups, and a big TV and remote, fridge, no microwave, sorry, big drawers, closets, and bed. This is bedding for the for the the couch bed and a safe. And then we have, we have the iron, iron stuff. Iron. Clock we right have here. a clock, a desk, lights, and a big comfy beds. And then we have a mirror right here. And if we also need a window, look over there. We have our window, our view. That's our view. And if you come over here, you will notice our picture right there. And if you notice our pretty picture right there over there, folks. And a um, fancy lamp under this pillow. And can. phone. And this little dial and safety guidelines instructions with another. But anyway, that's our room tour. I hope you like it. See you next time. Bye.
get started. I will ask that you stay with me at all times. The ship's still fully operational, so it's still pretty dangerous. Also, Coast Guard's worried you might steal. So to begin, the ship was actually not made in Evansville. She was built in the Navy Yard in Philadelphia in October of 1942, but she wasn't commissioned until about February of 43. Whenever we were put into commission, our first uh, stop was North Africa. We went, uh, dropped off some Christmas supplies, asked if we could help a little further. They said, nope, we're all good, so they sent us on our way. And then we participated in Operation Husky in Sicily, Italy in 1943. Uh, similar situation, dropped off troops and supplies, asked if we could help a little more. Off a little more. Um, they said no thank you, sent us on our way. Uh, it was then that we made our debut on Omaha Beach during D-Day on Normandy. Uh, we made about 44 trips back and forth between England and Normandy throughout the war. The U.S. and Greek governments actually had an agreement that the U.S. would hand them some of their older vessels so they could use them for practice. 325 happened to be one of them. Um, so we were with the Greek Navy for about 35 plus years until 99. 99 is when the Memorial bought the ship back, but they did not set sail until, uh, until November 2000. Did not make it to the U.S. till January of 01. The ship did not find her resting place in Evansville till about 2005, and we just moved to this exact spot in the summer of 2020, and we are loving it. Uh, the ship itself is 328 feet long by about 50 foot wide. On top of that, she is ridiculously slow. Our max speed is 12 knots, which is about 15 miles an hour. So due to our size and speed, we'll rock or list very badly, tilting anywhere uh, between 40 and 60 degrees, which of course would submerge our rails. So that is the main reason we have the yellow clovers all over our main deck. We use those to tie down or dog down the later vehicles. Um, 325 is actually one of the earliest models of LSPs. There are three main classes, the Mark II Class I, which is us, the Mark II Class II, and the 542 Class. There are two ways to identify a class one. First of all, we're a lot smaller than those later models. So if you think this little gal's quite large, wait till you see 542, they're huge. Our second identifier is our cargo elevator right over here underneath the gangway. That's how we got all the lighter vehicles on and off the main deck. Back then it was one vehicle at a time, three minutes down, three minutes back up. So even though we had a secondary elevator towards the back, still would have taken about five to six hours to completely load or unload the main deck. In the heat of battle, that is way too much time spent on that. So later models, such as Mark II Class and 542, those were equipped with a drop-down ramp instead, which cut their loading by about five times. A single gentleman built this entire thing within a year's worth of time. His wife was not too thrilled for living was a mess. She loves to call her mind. is our galley or kitchen. As you can see, we still use it to this day. Every work week and cruise, we have awesome guys in here cooking up a storm. About put on 10 pounds every time. Post office, not only did they have their mail, but also medical records and payroll. All right.
So from right here, we can actually see where the original shipyard was. It ranges between that steel dome on the right behind the cranes, all the way down to the double silos on the left mm. of the curve. It said if you go down there, when the water's nice and low, you might be able to see the wood planks they sat the pieces on as they were constructing the ships. Right up here, we have a 40 millimeter buffer cannon instead of a three man team like the 20, that's a five man crew. One guy sat here steering up and down, one on the other side works uh, left and right. They have to work together to lock in on the target. Instead of one reloader, these require two because the rounds are incredibly heavy.
the oldest living hippos in human care. I believe now in Alabama, they have a bull hippo that is outliving her. Over here to our right, we have Lake Victoria and it's two tokens per rider. And the hours of operation are from 10 a.m. until 3.45 p.m. is when the last boat goes out. And it should be opening here soon this summer. Over here to our left is known as the Monkey Ship. Um, the monkeys were actually taken off in the late 80s, I believe 1989, due to that was not their natural habitat. Our zebra's names are Sudoku and she's got a short tail and Lucy has a long tail. Our bald eagle is about five years old and her name is Usana, which stands for United States of North America. Normally you don't find bald eagles in zoos, but in her case, she was injured in the wild and rescued and she will not be able to survive if we put her back in the wild, so we are housing her. Thank you for visiting Mesker Park Zoo. And thank you for being a member. And if you would like to become a member, all you have to do is ask me how to buy today's tickets towards a membership. Thank you. Have a good day.
this is the end of our trip to yep. Evansville. We visited a lot of places, like yep. we went to the 325 boat. Yep. And the boat we, was big. Yep. And we also went to a lot of murals. Yep. A lot of <laughs> Tell me about it. A lot. Like this one right behind us.